Both the Export and Smart Viewer options allow you to review, adjust, save, and print report data from Jonas, and both of these options are available for most reports in Jonas. Let's take a look at how each option works, so you can see which option works best for you. Many reports support a direct export of data to Excel, and will correctly format the cells for you. To use the export function, set all the parameters of the report as you normally would for printing. Then click the Export button to open the Export to Excel screen. If you have established a file in Excel that you are populating with data from Jonas, enter the path and file name. Set the report orientation to portrait or landscape. Optionally use the format dropdowns to determine what headers, column headings, and footers the Excel report will have. All these settings are remembered by report for use in future exports of the report. If you have established a file in Excel that you are populating with data from Jonas, changing the formatting of the layout the next time may cause calculations or formulas in your spreadsheet to be disrupted. References may need to be edited after exporting. To have your data follow exactly the sort order specified in the report, select Do Not Sort Data. Otherwise, the export will sort based on the order specified in the Columns button. Select the Launch Excel field to have the report open in Excel. If you've indicated a file name to save your report to, you can select the Save File field to populate your Excel file and save it all from within Jonas. If you want to filter down the number of columns of data that your report is exporting, use the Columns button. By default, the blank selected columns pane on the right side of the screen means that all columns listed in the Available Columns pane on the left will appear within the report. To pare down the data you're interested in exporting, double click, click and drag, or select and click the arrow to transfer columns over to the selected columns pane. Once there, you can use the move up and down buttons to change the order of appearance and the sort order if you deselect the do not sort data field back on the main screen. After you've specified your options and choices, click the export button to run the report and export the data to Excel, where you can go ahead and make any adjustments or changes in the third party application to be printed or saved off as a new file. Many reports allow you to use the Smart Viewer option, which allows you to pick which third-party application you'd like to open the report in. To use the Smart Viewer function, set all the parameters of your report as you normally would for printing. Then click the Print button. In the Where Would You Like It Printed screen, click the Smart Viewer button, which will open the Smart Viewer option screen. Most setting adjustments made here will be remembered for the next time you send something to Smart Viewer. You can optionally adjust the report font and font size, however we recommend leaving these at the defaults and changing font settings in the application that receives the data to help with initial alignments. Select the application software from the View With field that you wish to export the report to. Select the Strip All Headings from the Report Exit Page 1 field to eliminate all headings except for the first heading of the report. This is especially useful when setting data to Excel as it saves having to delete rows between pages after exporting. The file name field's contents are only of interest if you are creating a file to be saved instead of launching an application. The default location is your local working directory. Optionally select a printer style code to apply the preference settings of a printer style to the output being sent through the Smart Viewer. Formatting can be applied using the fields in the title block and main body sections. Select the Proceed button to have the output created as an HTML page in the selected software program, where you can go ahead and make any adjustments or changes in the third-party application to be printed or saved off as a new file. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more how-to videos, and don't forget to subscribe.